And then so we can actually, you know, first do something like filter, right? We can filter it with is prime, which is the function that we have defined uh, in here, right? So, and then we're gonna call this rdd2. So rdd2, it's prime, it's not defined. So we didn't run this, uh, is prime, no, uh, is, oh, okay, yeah. So it's prime in here, right? So, and then let's look at rdd2, right? rdd2.collect. You don't want to be collecting every time, right? So you want to only test this with like a small list of um, numbers or input. So you don't want to do this in your production, right? Because that will really crash it. So the reason we want don't want to, uh, we want to sequence all the transformations and then do a final collect or final action is because we don't want to collect it every time, right? Because whenever you collect it, it's going to write it in memory. So you don't want to do too much. So that's why I actually set up so that the test is very small. So let's look at this, right? So collect, you see two, three, five, seven, those are prime numbers, right? After this filter. And then we can call this like three, right? So now I have three. And then what we can do are three dot, you know, what if we say, um, uh, you know, we can do something like filter and then uh, lambda, right? Lambda. Uh, duh, and then x to say only want the the prime numbers from rdd uh, 3 that's actually bigger than say 5 right uh, so then we can actually call this rdd 4 rdd 4 okay so filter oh we don't want to save this as a collect so if you save this as a collect it's going to be a list so you want to say um, rdd 3 is equal to the filter uh, rdd3.filter, right? Remember, rdd2 is going to be just a list of prime numbers, and then rdd3 um, is going to be out of those prime numbers, like 2, 3, 5, 7, we only want to get the ones that are greater than 5, right? So if you look at this in rdd3, we can actually collect it like this, right? So we're going to only get 7. So that's how you can actually sequence them all together, right? So Let's see, uh, in here uh, is prime, okay, so this is, okay, so in here, right, specifically we got all these uh, examples, right, like all the list of primes because we did the collect in the end, right, so first is just to parallelize everything from zero, uh, 2 to 99, and then filter it with this function that we just created, yes, no, right, getting the uh, true, false output, right, and then we're going to collect them. And then we're going to assign that to primes. So primes is a list, and now we're going to print it. So you're going to get all these numbers that are, uh, are from um, 2 to 99, and these are all prime numbers, right? So um, that's it. And then here are some you know common transformations, common actions. You can see filter. We just we just use filter. We just use map, right? Filter map. Both can you know you can use lambda, right? And then map. Uh, and then you can, you know, do something like a uh, flat map, right? So this is pretty much split each string into words and then flatten the sequence. You don't want to keep it as like, um, yeah, you want to flatten it. And then the sample is just to take a sample of something, right? With replacement, with, without replacement. And then all these like distinct, that's another one that's pretty useful, right? Remove all the duplicates. Sort by, that's pretty um, useful too. So sort by, you see the lambda. So this is to say x to x, right? You're mapping x to x, but I want to do ascending, right? True, false, right? So you want to sort it by x, right? Uh, in ascending order, uh, not descending order. So this is the common transformation. What And then, so remember, this is uh, happening in silo, right? In every worker. And then uh, in here, common actions typically happen at the end. After all these transformations, we'll do one action, right? Uh, you can actually do the collect, take, Right, just this is kind of like similar to head, right? Uh, in pandas df, and then top three. This is kind of like yeah, uh, the the first three, and this is the top three, and then take sample, right? You can actually create some sample of three elements with replacement and sum. We right, you can actually do dot sum, dot mean, dot standard deviation, right? All these things you can actually use as actions. So now let's see, like you have all this, right? Like you know, she's do sc dot parallelize, and you have this dot distinct. Remember, this is a transformation dot collect, right? This is the action um, distinct, right? So therefore, it's going to remove the ones that are not, you know, that are um, that are not 
unique, right? So like this, right? You're removing all the duplicates, right? And then uh, how about this, right? Like I have this, it's, I want to sort it by this number, right? So I can just say sort by lambda x to x, and then that's it. By default, it's gonna be ascending, but if you want to do descending, you can actually do it like, no, is equal to false, then this will be uh, asc ascending, right? And then this will become, you know, it's going to be sorted uh, descendingly, right? You can actually put more like 10, 11, and then all the way. Or, you know, we can do something like this, right? Remember the, uh, the thing that we just did, range. So what if it's like huge, you know, big list, right? We can do it this way, right? So you can see this is a big list, but you know, we don't want to do it. So let's just do from two to nine, right? You can actually um, do it this way. So you can see that the application is pretty, um, it's very, uh, you know, you can actually apply this uh, same logic and same code in many, many inputs. So um, that's it.